I'm driven by a pathological curiosity in science and uh, I didn't know from the beginning that I wanted to be a researcher because I was so excited about playing music as well. However, with time I got uh, more and more entangled in different science questions and couldn't let go of it. I got into the question about searching for vanishing stars one day when I was wondering, can a star vanish? Can any object from the sky vanish? Has anyone ever looked for it? I actually have two research fields. One is active galactic nuclei and the other one is the searches for vanishing stars. My team is searching for objects that have vanished or appeared during 70 years on our night sky. This includes a number of exotic astrophysical phenomena, including stars that collapse directly into black holes. It also includes uh, possible signatures of ET. Our research is basic research, which means that it contributes to human knowledge and aims to answer some of the most profound questions. For example, are we alone here? Science as a hope for the future makes me hope that we can make the searches for extraterrestrial intelligence available for all nations across the world and not only the richest institutes. I think we need a closer interaction between science and art and especially between science and popular culture. I think if um, many children and teenagers have a chance to watch good science fiction movies, they will be very inspired to continue into research later. My dream is to find a real example of a vanishing star or a vanishing object in a Milky Way. And I really hope we can also find ET. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm really happy and I'm really honored to be selected as a winner for the 2021 L'Oreal UNESCO for Women in Science program. I think it's a wonderful recognition for my science and it's a wonderful recognition for the Vasco team for the project we are doing. And it also shows one more thing that in order to do out-of-the-box science, you do not have to be a man.